My area sucks. Yeah, I know guys, this is what you guys saw in the last episode. And I'm not gonna spend the entire video ranting about why my area sucks and why I almost didn't do this toy hunt, but man, look, same six elites that I saw the last time I was here. Nothing new of basics, just 99, 98, and really nobody here I really want. I mean, still a prep ton of Finn Balors, there's still a warrior there. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit disappointing, and then I'm, I don't think I see the, the uh, Chase Tony Beast, because I don't know why I have that one. I was like, man, there just really is nothing new. It, it, it's kind of a shame. And originally, this was going to be a part of a vlog I was going to do. And up until I saw something over here that you will see shortly, after I'm done looking at all these, I mean, I'm just like, man, these figures aren't going anywhere. They're going to be here, like, at least until who, who knows how long, until they decide they're going to clearance them, or somebody decides they want to buy them, but I guess they don't want at least 69 or 70 to be stocked. But over here is what caught my eye. This awesome Wolverine figure you're about to see right here. I mean, this is a cool figure. I was like, you know what? Man, this toy hunt won't be so bad. And I was like, you know, I, I'm starting to get more into collecting Marvel Legends, so I saw this, uh, uh, Wolverine from the Uncanny X-Force wave and the uh, Wendigo uh, build figure and I saw this I was like oh man this is pretty cool now I was tempted to buy that but uh for sure I was definitely gonna get this Wolverine for the Marvel Legends and I was thinking about the other one but I was like man you know what it's good to find some good stuff oh hey Captain Marvel I'm a kitty of course you know if you guys don't know but now I have a cat and I originally was here at Walmart to look for stuff for my cat and also I was looking at Christmas decorations by the way I'll have that video up Oh look, there's Ralphie from Christmas Story. He's in Fortnite. I'm sure that yeah, it's not his name, but that's but that's what's based off. Everybody already knows that by now. But yeah, so here's the figure I'm gonna I'm for sure gonna pick up. I was like, you know why not? Pretty badass. I'm a, I'm a fan of Wolverine. I have Black Panther. Of course, I have my own little Black Panther. No, I know. I'm talking about my cat too much. We got Zill over there, but this Wolverine was pretty cool. I was debating on buying. And then surprisingly, nobody else was here. I was like, they must have had either an entire wave and everybody bought. The, all the things about Wolverine, or I don't know how that Wolverine ended up. I mean, I put it in my cart originally. I was debating on buying it. Yeah, there's all this stuff I bought that I was gonna um, show off my vlog. I guess if the vlog goes off before or after this video, depending on when I post it. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, decent selection. Not really the best selection of stuff, but I was like, at least the Marvel Legends look pretty cool. So I was like, you know what? Why not? Now, this was pretty funny. Here's some Toy Story 4 toys. Of course, there's Rex. And look, here's this T-Rex. It's like, you have basically what Rex is and what Rex wants to be. Like, expectation reality, however that movie goes. I was like, man, that, that's hilarious. I was like, oh, man. I don't know if somebody did that on purpose or they just left the toy there, but I just thought that was hilarious. <laughs> and then up next, gonna take a quick look at the Hot Wheels. I didn't see anything that really interests me except for this Deadpool ice cream truck. Now, of course, whenever I do look at, at it for detail here in the video, you'll see why. I mean, yeah, the ice truck is kind of funny, but I like that the Deadpool figures are. I like that. That's really cool. I wish I would hold up to the camera a little bit closer or if I have zoomed in, but that's still pretty cool. I mean, I was, like, kind of tempted to buy it. I didn't buy it, but I will eventually, but I was like, yeah, pretty cool. And finally, go look at the collector's aisle again. Really about the same, except for, well, as in the last video, I didn't see his Goku. Surprisingly, it was not here, so they finally stocked it. Another thing I was tempted to buy, and I'll probably buy it eventually. But they already had everybody else I saw here, like Gohan, they had, like more than one Vegeta, the Beerus, everybody that was here the last time. And then also, I decided to take a closer look at the Tamashii Vice, because I didn't show them very well in the last video. Of course, there's Piccolo, I have the trunk in this set. Probably no Goku or Vegeta. And there's some Mega Man figures, like here's Zero from Mega Man X. And then right here, here's Mega Man X as well. And they even had some Sailor Moon ones, like uh, Sailor Mercury, and then you'll see Sailor Venus here in a moment. So those are kind of cool for anybody like Sailor Moon. And then they had some ones for like Attack on Titan, which I'm not that familiar with. There's Aaron Yeager, I'm, I hope I said his name right, and that one says Levi. I know I didn't grab it, I apologize. And that's about it. Everything else looked about the same when I was last here. Like, you'll still see, like, the Golden Girls, and, and there's Fortnite, and, wow, well, well, this was over here. This was back in the toy hall, but okay. Or the main toy section. Oh, the office. 
There's the white. Surprising that there's nobody else here. I'm not big on this show. I don't really care about the figures. I mean, I'm familiar with the show, but I think I don't really care for them. But I just find it interesting. And that's really about it for this collector's aisle. Or so I thought. When I turned around, I didn't know they had these NECA figures here. I mean, I've seen these NECA figures before. I think I've always seen them at Target. But uh, I was like, oh, here's, oh, here's some... Uh, it figures for anybody that likes uh, Pennywise. Here's Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees. There's another Pennywise. There's some more Godzilla figures here. And uh, up here, uh, here's a hey, cool Ooga Boogie Funko Pop. Hey, look at got Terminator. From Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Pretty cool. Of course, I know this is a Terminator, uh, Terminator movie out in theaters right now. Uh, here's a cool. Uh, Friday 13 figure of Jason has no one behind him. I mean, I'm not really big on these, but I was like, you know, I'll look at it for the heck of it. I know some of you guys probably do like these figures, so I thought I would take a good look at him. Here's Frank Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street, and here's Chucky from um, his appearance in The Bride of Chucky. I was like, alright, well, okay, you know. Cool to see a little bit of variety in the collector's aisle. Anyways, that's it for the Toy Hunt. Stay tuned for my well, pickups, I only got one figure I'm showing off. But yeah, that's it for the toy hunt. Alright guys, so quick little toy hunt. Once again, nothing new as I expected. Um, wasn't even really planned to do a toy hunt for say. I was going to maybe include it in my vlog I just did. Um, I might put the vlog up before or after this video. It's depending on when I get the videos up. Whichever one I decide to put up first. But uh, I was mostly there at Walmart to really look for Christmas decorations and some stuff for my cat. But, uh, you know, other than the disappointing WWE selection, which I'm just gonna just, like I've said, I'll buy online. I've just kind of been, I don't know, just a little burnt out of WWE figure collecting, especially when it comes to, like, the, you know, the collector's editions. As you guys saw my uh, recent unboxing video, I bought Le Morgan finally off eBay. And now I'm just gonna try my best to look for good auctions for, like, either the Gerald Briscoe or the Catch Zone or Page figures, but. Stuff like that is really making me just want to kind of stop with WWE collecting, kind of. At least, just not even care about the collector's editions. Just focus on the main lines I can get in retail, if I can find them. At least 68, that set they just need to get rid of. Just, I think even putting on clearance is not going to be enough to get real serious. Nobody wants them. The well, same fairs were there the last time I went in my last episode. I feel like if I didn't find anything else I was worth looking at, that probably, I wouldn't even that, that video at all. I probably would just either kept it in my vlog or not done it at all. But at least I picked something up that I thought was cool. One of my favorite guys from the X-Men from Marvel. A cool Wolverine figure from the Uncanny X-Force. And has like the Build-A-Figure piece for Wendigo. I don't know who that is. I, I'm not that hardcore of a comic guy. I just know the basics like, you know, X-Men, Spider-Man, the Avengers. But I was like, you know what? I thought, why not? You know, the only figure I picked up, I was going to pick up that other Wolverine, the retro one, but I just left it behind for now because I had to buy some other stuff. And I want to kind of save a little more money to, pay, um, well, one, I've already paid bills, but I got to, you know, get some other stuff I need. Plus, buy some figures online because, like I said, I'm, at least for the time being, I'm done for retail. Maybe I'll wait till after Black Friday because other than that, this is probably gonna be my last toy hunt for the month. I'm probably not going to bother going to Walmart again and waste my time unless I go to another Walmart with my buddy Zach or... I don't know, I just, I think it'll be a while before I do more toy hunts after this, so I'll probably just stick to buying stuff online, and I don't know, I thought I had some of the Dragon Ball Z figures I saw, that, I mean, I already bought some of my last toy, and I was thinking about getting that, that Goku that I showed that wasn't there last time, the Super Saiyan Instinct, or God, or whatever it was, Goku, I thought that one was pretty cool, and some of those are little Tamashi buddies, those were cool as well, I thought buying some of them, but other than that, yeah, I know, not the great greatest toy hunt, but you know, whatever. The only other thing that maybe I thought I'd buy was that Deadpool ice cream truck. I'll probably buy it next time I see it, because it was pretty cool, but I just like, you know what? For now, one figure is better than none. You know, not WWE related, because most of you guys that watch my stuff are WWE fans. None of you are really into, like, X-Men or Power Rangers, stuff like that, but, you know, or Rebel Z, but whatever. Uh, you know, I just want to keep the toy hunt series up. I'm going as much as I can, but... I hope Toys R Us comes back soon. They're only opening two Toys R Us locations this year so far on the road to Black Friday, and they're not going to be anywhere near me. One's like going to be, I think, in New Jersey, and then the other one's going to be in, like in Texas. And I think they're also opening another one that's like a Toys R Us experience down like in Georgia or something. I don't remember. 
or in, in Chicago. I don't remember where it's going to be, but Toys R Us, you heard them come back. I feel like not having Toys R Us around is really the reason why Walmart and Target are, at least in my area, doing terrible at stocking new figures. Because I remember when Toys R Us was still in business, Walmart was doing a much better job, so was Target. Now, peg warmers like crazy, and I'm just, man, like I said, it's just, Twin Series may go as long as I can go before I finally say it's done, and I just stick to buying online. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the toy end for what it was. And then I hope you guys do enjoy my next video, where it's all before this one or after this one. My little Christmas decorations, hunting slash hunting for my cat, you know, toys, <laughs> you know, vlog, whatever I'm going to call it. I'll just probably give it a simple title. But anyways, guys, you know the drill. If you like the video, give it a like. Hopefully you do. If you don't, whatever. You know, and that's about it. You know, comment and all that other stuff. As always, I am Revolution Cowboy. Rock on and keep collecting.